What is the body of Christ going to do to address the urban crisis? This question has caused me sleepless nights and hours on my knees in prayer. Our urban communities are filled with violence, hopelessness, teenage pregnancy, fatherlessness, poverty, and an apathy towards education. I just want to be like you, walk like, talk like, even think like you. The only one I could look to, you're teaching me to be just like you. Well, I just got to be like, like, I just got to be like you. A few years ago, a group of men from Fairfield set out for West Dallas to learn about a life-on-life -life mentoring program. And we were just really encouraged to see what God was doing in Dallas. Um, hundreds of kids were being impacted by quality individuals were pouring into these kids academically, spiritually. And what we came back with was a God-sized vision of what it would look like if every fourth grade student in Fairfield had the opportunity to have a godly mentor, an advocate. After much prayer, we launched the Aspire Mentoring Movement, which is a nine-year program where we match godly men and women with fourth graders to make a nine-year commitment to walk alongside of those children in a life-on-life -life discipleship process. This is men and women who are coming along to just give the best of what they have, their mental skills, their background, uh, their spiritual journey, and to just pour into young people the investment that God has poured into them. You know, spending time with someone in a very intentional way makes you um, uh, evaluate your priorities. I've learned how impressionable kids are uh, and how important it is for them to have positive role models. It's made me realize how important it is for me to do that, to be an example, to point kids to the gospel and to teach the next generation about Christ. What separates the Aspire movement from most other mentoring programs is this idea of mutual transformation. I would hope that anybody who comes into the mentoring program would plan on this being a major instrument of their own sanctification. It's not just what they can give, but they're hoping to receive from these kids. We, we've developed a relationship and, um, and we're committed to each other, so uh, basically we, we've become a part of each other's life, and so he has as much interest in me as I do in him. We look forward to each other's company you know, every week, and we, we do a lot of things together, and, and not only have, have I been blessed to have Braille in my life, but now my entire family, including my kids, they'll, they'll come to me and go, when are, we, when are we going to see Braille? They understand the need, but they've accepted him, and they, they, so my whole family's involved. It's not just me as a mentor. We have a lot of kids who grow up in uh, an environment where this is probably the only opportunity they get a chance to have someone to help guide them, direct them, and steer them. One of the challenges that our kids face is uh, a sense of self-worth. Sometimes they don't have the role models that they need. But the biggest thing that I think mentoring can do uh, to these kids is say, the sky is the limit. You don't have to be like others around you. Uh, if you work hard, you can do whatever you want to do in life. Sometimes we take things for granted, but this program I don't take for granted. It's much, much needed. Obviously one of the biggest challenges that we face in this ministry is the recruitment of mentors. We want to see this be a generational impact, a community transformation effort, reaching communities all around Birmingham so that we can see this investment providing uh, a real source of restoration and transformation for our entire city, which is really in desperate need of that. And that's what I'm seeing right now through the Aspire Mentoring Program. I'm seeing a change made from right here in the city of Birmingham. Uh, having those from over the mountain, right here at Fairfield, throughout the whole Birmingham community, uh, coming together to make a change. Having an opportunity to have a mentoring program, whether it's new relationships, new experiences, or exposing them to something entirely different. Uh, the Aspire Mentoring Program has really transformed uh, students and parents alike here in the Fairfield community. The Aspire Mentoring Movement marries two at-risk groups. The one at-risk group we're familiar with, we know, at-risk urban youth. But the other group we're not so familiar with, and that is the church, which is at risk of living completely insignificant lives with the privileges that we have in our union with Christ Jesus. I want a mentor so I can play video games with, and play football, and go to a game. I want a mentor because it can help me with my schoolwork and stuff I have problems with. I want a mentor so 
so I can have somebody to look up to. Are you my mentor? Are you my mentor? Are you my mentor?